All right, today we're talking about finding the angle measures in a polygon. First, vocab, diagonal. A diagonal of a polygon is a segment that joins two non-consecutive vertices. Non-consecutive, they're not next to each other. All right? So, I have this table here. And again, if I go too fast or whatever, or you don't get everything written down, you can obviously pause it, rewind it, um, and look, watch it again. I have a table of polygon, number sides, number triangles, and the sum of the measures of the interior angles. All right, these polygons, and you are expected to know these names. Triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon, an 11-gon, dodecagon, and that's a figure with 12 sides. Then after that, 13-gon, 14-gon, 15-gon, so on and so forth. So we use n-gon, where n represents the number of sides. Okay which is this next column, number of sides. Three, four, five, six, so on and so forth, up to N. Okay, and obviously three is the smallest polygon we can have, all right, a closed figure. Now, number of triangles. For a triangle, there's only one triangle inside a triangle. That's 180 degrees. Quadrilateral, this is where I'm talking about my definition of diagonal. I have a quadrilateral, four-sided figure. If I look at one of the vertices here, this vertex to there, consecutive. There to there, consecutive. So non-consecutive here. So there's my diagonal. One triangle, two triangles. Okay? And then obviously 360 degrees in a quadrilateral. Most common one you think of is a square or a rectangle. 360 degrees. Okay? Pentagon. The number of triangles. So again, you're drawing your diagonals all right, from the same vertex and how many triangles do you end up with? All right, so you have a pentagon. From this vertex, if I draw that, there are my diagonals. One, two, and three triangles. And if you go on and look at all the other polygons, you get this pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so on and so forth. Two, for an n-gon, it's n minus two. The number of sides, minus two. Minus two, minus two, two, all right? It works, it fits for all these. Now, the sum of the interior angle measures. 180, 360, 540 for a pentagon, hexagon, 720, a heptagon, 900, an octagon, 1080, for a nonagon, 1260, okay, decagon, 1440. All right, so is there a way we can determine the total interior angle measures for our polygon? And yes, there is. Okay, if you notice, number of the interior angle measures, number of triangles, okay? How many degrees are in that triangle? 180. How many are in that one? 180. 180 times 2 is 360. In our pentagon, 1, 2, 3. There's 180 in that one, 180 in that one, 180 in that one. 180 times 3 is 540. So we figure that out. It's n minus 2, which stands for the number of triangles times 180, because there's 180 degrees in every triangle. So the number of triangles times 180. All right. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon is 1,260. Classify the polygon by the number of sides it has. So they're talking about the sum of the interior angles, and it's 1,260. Well, I find the sum by taking one n minus 2 times n minus 2 times 180, that will give me the sum of the interior angle measures. All right, so divide by 180, divide by 180, the quantity n minus 2 equals 1,260 divided by 180 is 7, okay, add 2 to both sides, n equals 9, so it is a nonagon. All right, next example. Find the value of x in the diagram shown. We have what kind of a polygon? That would be a quadrilateral, one, two, three, four sides. And a quadrilateral, you add up the side, or the angle measures, excuse me. And then it should equal 360. So x plus, combined like terms, we get 318 equals 360. Subtract 318 from both sides. 
x equals 42. Find the value of x? Found it. All right. Please try these two problems in your notes, and we'll talk about those in class tomorrow. Okay. Exterior angles. Exterior angle theorem. All right. The sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon, one angle in each vertex, is. All right. And you get an exterior angle by extending each side in one direction. Extend each side in one direction. Okay, and that forms, here we have a pentagon, it forms five exterior angles. Okay, those angles add up to equal 360 degrees. It does not matter if we're talking about a triangle, hexagon, pentagon, octagon, whatever. That is true for all polygons. The exterior angles add up to equal 360 degrees. Okay? So here, find the value of x in the diagram shown. We're talking about exterior angles. I don't even care what kind of polygon it is. We're talking about exterior angles. They add up to equal 360 degrees. So x plus 89 plus 2x plus 85 equals 360. Okay, combine like terms, we get 3x plus 174 equals 360. Subtract 174 from both sides. 3x equals, uh, what is that, 96? Excuse me, 186. Divide by 3, x equals, what is that, 62. Okay? Find the value of x. x is 62. Okay, so I could find those angle measures. That's 62, and then that's 124. Uh, okay. All right. The base of a lamp is in the shape of a regular 15 gun. Did everyone remember what the term regular means? Prior knowledge, regular. It's equilateral and equiangular. Okay, and it's a 15 gun. Find a the measure of each interior angle, and find the measure of each exterior angle. Okay, so if we think about this, this equation, n minus 2 times 180, gave us the sum of the interior angle measures, right? Now, this is regular, which means all the angles are the same. So if we take and divide by n, which is the number of sides, and the number of sides and the number of angles is the same, okay, that's the sum of the interior angle measures divided by the number of angles we will get what? each interior angle measure of a regular polygon so in this case we have a 15 guy so you take 15 minus 2 times 180 divided by 15, which equals, so 13 times 180 is 2340 divided by 15, all right, 2340 divided by 15 equals 156 degrees. That's our interior angle measure. And now, like we just got done saying, the exterior angles add up to 360 degrees. Now, if it's regular, okay, what do you think is going to be true about the exterior angles? They're all going to be the same, too, right? So then we take, and if we, they all add up to equal 360, and we know how many there are, we take 360 divided by n, which in this case is 15, so 360 divided by 15, that equals each exterior angle of a regular polygon, okay? That's going to equal... 360 divided by 15 is 24 degrees. All right. Find the measure of each interior angle and each exterior angle of a regular nonagon. Please try that problem on your own for tomorrow as well. That should be similar to this one here. Okay, that is it. Thank you very much.